name is Brianna Wardwell and I am presenting on canine Lyme disease. So canine Lyme disease is caused by a bacteria that is found in the GI tract of black leg tigs, the ticks or deer ticks. And the bacteria is called Borrelia burgdorferi and it's found in western black leg ticks or eastern black leg ticks. And so here's an image of the sizes right here. So as you can see, they're very small and so it can be hard to find them on your animal. And so they are zoonotic bacterial disease because it can, humans can get Lyme disease as well as other mammals. And so it normally takes between 24 to 48 hours for the bacteria to be transferred because it's transferred once the tick is finished with its meal. And it can take weeks to months before the symptoms are shown. And so the only real risks that you can have are location. So for instance, I live in the New England area, and so you're a lot more likely to get ticks. So I know people who have Lyme disease, and my own dog has Lyme disease. And they like the more forested areas because it provides shade, and the ground is moist, and it has like tall grass and shrubs where they can hide. And no specific dog breed is more susceptible than another. However, dogs with thicker coats make it harder to find the ticks. So the symptoms, you, there's a variety of symptoms that you can have, but mainly you get a fever, reoccurrent lameness or lameness that shifts between different legs, a stiff or abnormal gait, swelling, warmth, or pain in the joints, lethargy, and loss of appetite. So this is my dog and he's just yawning, kind of showing like his <laughs> lethargic state. And so as for treatment, what the vet does is if you think the dog may have Lyme disease, they will take a sample of blood and then they will do a 3DX or 4DX snap test. And that tests for a variety of different tick-borne illnesses. And the good thing about testing for a variety of tick-borne illnesses is that if your dog has one illness, he's more likely to have another. And so for treatment of Lyme disease, you can either use disoxylin or amoxicillin. And so the antibiotic treatment is from anywhere from two to four weeks. And so there was actually a recent increase in prices of the medication from 2015, so it increased to $5 a pill, which makes the average, average treatment cost $2,500, wow. which is fairly expensive. And so that's why you should try to focus on the prevention of this disease. <laughs> so overall, the only thing that you can do is just prevent the tick from biting or latching onto your dog. So we'd like to use um, med medications that kill tea, ticks, fleas, the eggs, larvae, and basically all those in general. And one thing that's important to do is check your dog after it comes in from the outside. And so common places that are missed or that ticks like to latch on are under the collar, under the tail, inside the groin area, between the toes, under the front legs, and in the elbows. And so my story, so the picture in the top left is my dog Woodstock, and he got Lyme disease in 2010, and it was very interesting because we couldn't actually, we didn't find the tick until about like two days later and it was actually in the, between like the webbing mm -hmm. of his toes. Mm -hmm. And so he did show the signs, he was very lethargic, he lost his appetite, and so we took him to the vet and they did the 4DX test. And from there they did more testing just to make sure that it was in fact Lyme disease. And so then we treated him for the whole month with the medication, and after that he Every few years, he shows the signs again of like the mm. lethargy and uh, joint pain. But um, so he has a condition where it's chronic, and this can happen quite a bit because the bacteria are very good at hiding themselves from the antibiotics and from the immune system. So it's kind of like a roller coaster. Sometimes the symptoms yep. are there, and sometimes I've heard that even with people. Yeah. It, it's kind of a roller coaster thing. Yep, and so the dog on the right, his name is Conan, and this is a picture of him in Thailand. So I went to Thailand in 2015 for a vet workshop, and there we took off about 300 ticks from him. He was just a dog roaming in Thailand. And so then we did the blood test and found out that he had, I think it was like five different diseases from the various ticks that he had on him. And so he was also treated for Lyme disease. And Lyme disease is also can be common in humans, so I have like, two cousins who have Lyme disease and it definitely provides a barrier to actions that you can do. Right, a challenge, that's for yes. sure. I know somebody that has Lyme disease and they misdiagnosed it. First, she had depression mm -hmm. and it took a, a number of years before they said, oh, you have Lyme disease. Yeah. 
And so that's my story. That's your story, and you're sticking to it. Yes. 